of code. Today, our lesson about how to find the probability of a compound event. Please listen and look carefully. The essential understanding for this lesson is a model, such as a table, organized list, or tree diagram, can represent the sample space of a compound event. The sample space can then be used to determine the probability of a favorable outcome. In previous lessons, students learned how to find the sample space and calculate the probability of simple events. They also learned how to determine the outcomes of compound events using models. In this lesson, students extend their skills to find the sample space and probability of a compound event using different sample space models. This problem is key because students develop a probability model that involves a three-part compound event, and they compare the probabilities of two outcomes for each of the independent events. Students also explore a variety of strategies for determining and comparing probability. Ask students to calculate and compare the probabilities of each pair of outcomes for the three events. The first event is the spinning of the wheel. For option one, the desired outcome is the letter S, which has a probability of 1 15th. For option 2, the desired outcome is the letter Z, which also has a probability of 1 15th. Listen and look for students who explain the significance of the equal probabilities. The desired outcome of the wheel spin is equally probable in option 1 and option 2, so this event does not affect which option Talia should choose. As students compare the desired outcomes for the coin flip, listen and look for students who recognize that the outcome for option 2 is certain to occur, which means it has a probability of 1. If the coin flip were the only component of the game, then Talia should choose option 2. As students analyze the role of the number cube, listen and look for students who calculate that the outcome for option 1 is the more likely outcome. Ask students how they can compare the probabilities of all three outcomes for option 1 and for option 2. Remind students that the wheel spin can be ignored because the probability of the desired outcome is the same for both options. Listen and look for students who represent the sample space of the coin flip and number cube role by devising a systematic method, such as an organized list, a table, or tree diagram. The coin flip has two outcomes, either heads or tails. In each case, the number cube has six possible roles, so the sample space is made of 12 equally likely outcomes. For option 1, three of the 12 outcomes include tails and an even number, so the probability of success is 3 twelfths, or 1 fourth. For option 2, two of the 12 outcomes include a roll of 3, so the probability of success is 2 twelfths, or 1 sixth. Listen and look for students who draw the conclusion that option 1 represents Talia's better chance for winning the game. Now, for more understanding, please listen and look carefully for another video. How can a model help you find the probability of a compound event? Think about this question during the lesson. Sadie has one ticket left at the school fair, and she hasn't yet won a prize. She decides between two games. Which game should she play? Let's think about how we calculate probability. Does having more possible outcomes make it more likely or less likely that Sadie will win? For our first step, let's focus on the game Flip to Win. We can use a table to determine the probability of winning a prize playing Flip to Win. The first flip will be either heads or tails. The second flip will also be either heads or tails. So there are four possible outcomes, and there's one favorable outcome, two heads. What is the probability of winning a game of Flip to Win? Select your answer. 
okay all outcomes equals four outcomes and the favorable one equal one outcome so we divided the number of favorable outcome for the total or possible outcomes so we divided one by four the answer it will be one over four divide the number of favorable outcomes by the number of possible outcomes the probability of two heads is one fourth or 25 percent now let's use a second table to determine the probability of winning a prize playing flip and spin spinning the spinner has four possible outcomes red yellow blue and green flipping the coin has two possible outcomes heads and tails our table shows each of the eight outcomes of this compound event only one of the eight outcomes is favorable meaning there's only one way to win a prize playing flip and spin this outcome is blue on the spinner and heads on the coin flip the probability is one eighth or 12 and one half percent now we're ready to compare the probabilities of winning each game the probability of winning a prize at flip to win is 25 percent while the probability of winning a prize at flip and spin is 12 and a half percent sadie is more likely to win a prize playing flip to win so she should use her last ticket to play this game now you know how a probability model like a table can help you find the probability of a compound event okay now we move to the practical part see you Open your book, page 195, and start with uh, problem number six. A fair coin is tossed twice in uh, succession that uh, the assembly space is shown. Okay, twice it means we have assembly space. The first one it may be head or tail. The second one it may be head or tail. And the third one is maybe head, second one head or tail. Now we have head and head, head, tail, tail, head, tail, tail. Okay, how many total outcomes? Yes, four outcomes. There are how many outcomes that, that have exactly one tail? Just one tail. Yes, head and the tail, tail and the head. So how many outcomes? Yes, two outcomes okay how many there are how many possible outcomes the total outcomes equals four now the probability of exactly one tail so we have the favorable two over the total outcomes four two over four will have equal how many percent 50 percent have or 50 percent okay question number seven okay look at your book question number seven uh the three the three diagram show the sample space of two digits number that can be created using the digits two six seven and nine what is the probability of choosing a number from the sample space that contains both nine and six okay the first the first branch of the three have uh, hasn't any six and nine in the two uh, yes Two and six, two and seven, two and nine. So there is no six and nine together. Six and two, six, six, seven, six, nine. Yes, this is first one, six and nine. And at the last branch, nine and six. So we, there are two outcomes. There are two outcomes that include both six and nine. Okay, there are possible outcomes. How many or outcomes? Yes, equals twelve. So the probability of nine and six equal equal two over twelve by divided by two it will be one over six. One over six how many percent? One over six it means to convert it to percent multiply one hundred. So we have one hundred divided by six. Ten divided by six equals one. One by six equals four equals six subtract equals four. Drop zero. 
40 divided 6 equal yes 6 by 6 36 subtract equals 4 both 0 and decimal 40 divided 6 equals 6 and so on so the the percent equals 16 point seven percent okay question number eight question number eight he gives me a table for assembly space for a coin and a spinner and this is all outcomes okay he asked about uh, the table shows the possible outcomes of spinning given spinner and flipping a fair coin okay find the probability of coin landing head up and pointer Leading, leading on uh, one, two, and four. So head and one, two, and four. Head and one, head and two, head and four. How many outcomes? Yeah, three outcomes. And what is the total outcomes? How many how, a total outcomes equals 10? So equals three over 10 or zero or 30 percent. The last one, number nine, it gives me the sample space. How many outcomes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the total equal 8. He asked about two heads. Okay, search for two heads. This is the first one. Head, head, and tail. And head, tail, and head. And tail, head, and head. Just three outcomes. And what? how many is the total outcomes equal 3 over 8? Or equal 37.5? Merci.